Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from any part of the world where you are connecting from. For those listening to our live broadcast or those listening to the recorded version on any of our social media platforms, we welcome everyone to this another exciting edition of our back office training Zoom. This is actually the platform that our leaders, the leadership in our team has put together to assist all CFX members across the globe to understand their CFX business better. What is CFX? CFX is actually something different, something new. It's a force that is changing lives positively across the globe with a combination of our team of highly professional and experienced forest traders with a combination of our proprietary technology that is delivering amazing results to our members worldwide. We therefore encourage all members, both old and new, to always make themselves available for our live meetings every Sundays, Nigerian time, 6 p.m. Or you can get any of our recorded version on any of our social media platforms. So the Zoom link is always available on request. So this is because there is always something new to learn. So another interesting and exciting thing about this back office training Zoom is that you are free to ask any question bordering your mind, especially how to navigate your CFX business. We have our leaders who are already in the house and on ground, always on ground, to provide the much needed answers. So lest I forget, my name is Ayo and I will be your host today. We thank God for the opportunity to serve and to be of service. So guys, let's go. Okay, you're welcome to another edition of the back office training zoom so today we are looking at how to set up your two-factor authentication for your cfx's account in the last edition we talked about how to register and how to purchase your first trade pack and as soon as you have received the confirmation email for a successful purchase what you just have to do is to proceed immediately to set up that 2FA or two-factor authentication for your account. Now, at this point, we must let you know some things. You cannot proceed to set up your 2FA without receiving the email first. You must wait for you to receive that official confirmation email before you can proceed. Let's assume you have received it. Another thing you must know is that it's always preferable to use two devices for this exercise because it makes it a lot easier for you. But if you can navigate your way using a single device, there is no problem. You can also use a single device. But in this case, we are going to assume we are using two devices. But when we get to where you use a single device, we will also let you know. The two-factor authentication works better with Google Authentication app. All you just have to do is, you must download Google Authenticator app. You will download it on your phone. So just look for that particular icon because there are several authentication apps. But the Google Authentication app is what we are using in CFX. So look for the approved icon of it, then download it on your phone. What you now need to do, let's assume you are using two devices. You get the second device. It could be your laptop, your iPad, or another phone. Now, log in from the approved login page of CashFX. Then, with your username and password, as soon as you've done that, click on login. In some cases, they might ask you to verify or confirm your device, just like we've explained in previous presentations, how to confirm your device. A six alphabet or capital letters will be sent to you, to your Gmail. Just go there, copy them and bring it here. Click on confirm. Once you have confirmed that, then the next thing you will see is a page with the pop-up message which reads like, protect your account from unauthorized access. We require that you set up your two-factor authentication. Set up now. That is the statement you will see. What you need to do is to click on that set up now. As soon as you've done that, scroll down a little bit until you see a barcode. And underneath the barcode, you will see secret key written there. Now, what you are going to do is this. At that particular page, leave it there on the second device. Go to your own device, the first one where you have downloaded that Google Authenticator app. Launch the app. Click on it to open it. Click on it to get started. Then you have two options. There will be the option one of scan a QR code 
or enter a secret key manually. Those are the two options. Now, let's assume you are scanning the QR code, which means you are using two devices. The next page you are seeing now, on the left hand side, that's the option to scan a QR code. What you just have to do is very simple. Click on that option of scan a QR code. Then your phone will automatically change to a camera-like image as if you want to capture an image. Use your phone to capture or focus on the barcode that you are seeing on the other device. Your phone will capture it automatically and it will start to generate six digits randomly. So that is the option of two devices. Now, if you want to use the option of a single device, there is no problem. All you just have to do is write out the secret key underneath the barcode. Write it down. And you might need to write down the secret key and keep it safely for your use in case you want to recover your authenticator in future. So now having written that down, now go to the right hand side of the page you're seeing. That is entering the setup key option. That is if you want to use a single device. What you just have to do is click on enter a setup key option. Then three questions will come. The first one is, they will tell you add account. Under that add account, your username, your CFX's username, type it there. Under the setup key, that secret key that you've copied, enter it. Then the third one is time bound. Leave it like that. Leave that one. Then click on add account. If you click on the add account, automatically too, your phone will start to generate the six digits randomly. What are you going to do with the six digits? You will notice that on the right hand side of those six digits, you will see a small timer with blue color timing out. It's counting down. Just allow the timer to time out then until another code is generated. Once another code is generated, immediately copy the code and go to the other device where you have scanned the barcode initially under the space where you see type the pin then you will see an arrow just plug it in immediately those six digits and click on verify on the right hand side immediately before the number times out click on verify button as soon as you've done that you will notice that there will be a pop-up which will tell you two-factor authentication enabled that is what you will see and what you just click is OK automatically. But paraventure, if you have done that, rather than seeing two-factor authentication enabled, you are seeing like a warning telling you to synchronize your time. There is no problem. There is a simple way to correct your time. All you just have to do is to go to that device where you have downloaded that Google Authenticator app. Go to the top right-hand corner of the device. You will click on the three dots, the three dots that you see vertically. Click on those three dots. You will see settings. Click on settings. Then you will see time correction for codes. Click on it. Then you see sync now or synchronize. Click on it. So as soon as you've done that, your phone will boot for two to three minutes. As soon as your phone boots and completed, it will tell you that time has been corrected. Then click on OK. Then you go back. Click on the arrow to go back and repeat the process of imputing the six digits that you see and click verify, you notice that by this time, it will tell you that two-factor authentication enabled. So as soon as you've done that, you wait a little for the other device to display another page. And what the page will tell you is try type the pin to test. Try type the pin to test. That is what the page will tell you. Then what you do is wait again for the six digits on your device to generate another one. As soon as you see another one, type it in the space provided and click on test on the right hand side. Click on test on the right hand side. As soon as you've done that, you will see a pop-up message which will tell you test worked. Two-factor authentication test worked. Just click on OK. So as soon as you click on OK, then congratulations, you have successfully set up your two-factor authentication. So in case you want to reconfirm, you can close everything and re-log in again through the approved login page of CashFX, put in your username, put in your password, click on login. So as soon as you click on login, you will be directed to a page where they will ask you for your authentication pin. Don't worry, 
go back to the authentication app that you just downloaded click on it the six digit that you see type it in for them and wait for a few seconds they will read it and know that truly you want to log in and they will grant you access to your back office so as soon as you've done that you have successfully logged in and subsequently if you want to log into your back office in addition to your username and password you will be required to log in using those authentication pin so with that you have successfully set up your two-factor authentication for your account thank you until we see you on another exciting edition bye for now wow 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 that was really amazing we thank god for another wonderful expose on the cfx business today no doubt you have really gained a lot from the session so why not make it a date with us again by joining us next sunday nigerian time 6 p.m for another interesting episode a special thanks to our leader pastor mike the first cfx african director and all other leaders who have contributed immensely for the success of the meeting today the technical team who are busy working behind the scene to ensure that this is a huge success we appreciate all of you you are all wonderful so until next time that we see you again my name has not changed i still remain ayo and as i always say remember we learn to learn by learning and we learn better only when we learn always see you next week by god's grace bye for now